All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put on another layer of flesh and I'll be working in the shadow areas. So I'm gonna be sticking with the same two colors I used earlier for the flesh, which is Windsor Yellow and Opera Rose. And I'm painting in the shadow area and his ear here is in shadow. And um, this side of the face, all the way down the side of the face, I uh, have to get a nice amount of flesh color underneath the shadow area so that it will be able to support the shadow. If I were to just put a dark in, it would not read as well. So um, you would not have that richness um, coming from beneath. And my dark will be, my shadow will be a purple. And, uh, but you have to get the flesh underneath if you were to take the purple shadow up, you would still need to have flesh underneath. I'm trying to avoid the lit part of the glasses. And I'm using a half inch flat. And I'm just softening my edges. I put a shape down and then I soften my edges on either side of the shape. Now there's an area on the right side of the nose that uh, can go ahead and deepen the value here and under the nose above his mustache and I'm going to bring it on over into the laugh line on the left side. And I like to link shapes together as much as I can and so I've laid down the color over here and I'm trying to avoid that um, going back into that because I don't want any uh, blooms or um, any edges. And I'm going to soften right down the side of the nose here. And this time I'm going to soften with a color for his mustache. I'm going to soften with a blue. This is cobalt turquoise light. And then I'm going to soften those edges as well. Now I can go ahead and bring some color down in here and avoid the paint that I just painted. Uh, so I'll go uh, close to it but not around that area. A lot of flesh down in this area as well. So I'm still using my Windsor Yellow and Opera Rose. Laying one down and then laying the red on top of the yellow. Now this is lit so I'm going to lift that up and soften my edges. I can let that go right into that bottom lip. Now I want to move to the top of the head. This is still wet so I'm going to try to stay away from that area. And you want to paint in the direction of the way the, the skin is. The, um, I have some lines here that I'm going to be painting. So I'm painting 
horizontally across in this area. Windsor Yellow and Opera Rose. And I don't have quite enough red up in this area, so I'm going to go back with my Opera Rose. And then when I soften, I'm going right up to it and I'm putting a good amount of water right next to the paint so that it gives the paint an area to move out into. Let's soften around this highlight here. And I'm working into the mid-tones, trying to build my color. And I'm going to add a little bit more flesh on the outside here where the head meets the hairline. Avoiding the lighter part of the glasses. And I can also paint inside of the glasses on the left side. So I'm going to grab a dry paper towel here. I'm going to move into a smaller brush size with uh, a number 10 Legend. Uh, I have the set. I have the uh, two through 16 actually and um, these are great brushes I've been using them for a very long time um, I've tried other brushes and I always go back to these uh, they're just a great brush and uh, they just work really well when uh, you're doing portraits and for um, any other type of painting I like to do florals and uh, pet portraits and they're, they're just great for a lot of different things. So let's soften this a little bit and now the whites of the eyes look white after you add in more color. I'm going to add a little bit more color over in this cheek area. And I'm going to pull it down into this area by the corner of the mouth. I need to add, go ahead and add some flesh into the neck. And I'm moving to a 16 round legend. Windsor Yellow and Opera Rose. And I'm looking at the color intensity and it's strong, pretty strong color here on the neck. And I'm putting my Opera Rose on top of that. And then I can drag this over into the right side. If you get it a little strong, you can always add water and pull it into another section. Now, I don't want this strong of edge here. So I'm just going to add a little water there and soften it. And I'll add some Windsor Yellow on this side. And what I like about these brushes is you can flatten them out and really pull the color into different sections. 
I like to get them up on the tip to get in small areas and flatten them out to cover a larger section. Now I've got some uh, blooming going on here so I'm going to take my brush and just go right along that edge and get rid of that. And I'm going to add a little color to the left ear. This time I'm going to be using a little bit more pigment. and looking for the crevices in the ear. A lot of color found at the bottom of the ear. And we'll go back and put that opera rose right on top. So you want to get your shapes in and then soften, soften the color into other areas. So I'm going to go right up next to that shape and soften it. And if you, you can just drag it down it allows a little color to flow back in, which is what you want. So you don't have such a big jump in value. You want to encourage a little bit of the color to flow into the other areas. And that's how you soften it. I'm going to add a little bit more color above the eye here. And then soften it. Trying to avoid the glasses where they're lighter. There are areas where they're light and there are areas where they're dark and they're lost areas. So you want to pay attention to what type of edge you have. Um, they're not the same all the way around. So I think it's nice when you can have a lost edge, a found edge, and uh, have a variation that makes for a nice painting. So we're going to stop here and we're going to dry it and then we'll come back and put in our crevice flesh colors.